In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and installing and uh, utilizing your Oot wallet using Agama. So Agama is actually a multi-cryptocurrency wallet created by Komodo Platform, the platform upon which Oot and, and Utrum project is being built. So um, it supports the Oot token. And the first thing you're going to do is jump over to Komodo's website which is in the description, but it's komodoplatform.com, and then visit their wallets, their wallets page using the menu or just by forward slash komodo-wallets. And once you're on the wallets page under desktop wallet, you'll find the Windows Agama wallet download button. So we're just gonna click that, and that's gonna get the, uh, the zip file started downloading, and I'm gonna click save here. So it shouldn't take too long to download. Once it's finished, you can just open that zip file and inside of it, you'll find the EXE um, installation app. So I'm just gonna double click that to run it. And what's, uh, what's popped up probably in the back here um, is the Windows Protected Your PC pop-up. To proceed with the installation, you have to click More Info and then you get the option to run anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And it looks like, uh, here it is, so it's popped up. It's asking to select a language, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with English and just click Next, accept the agreement, continue through with the default um, location for install, and then click Next to begin. So the installation should only take a couple minutes or so, maybe a little faster to complete. Okay, so once the installation is completed, we'll see this little window that has the option to go ahead and launch Agama now. So I'll leave that box checked and click finish. And once Agama starts up um, the first time, we're just going to go ahead and click activate coin in order to activate the Oot token. And it gives us a little drop down here. Um, we could scroll to the coin, but I'm just going to type in OOT and that sorts it down to the Utrum token and I'll just click it. Um, light mode is selected and then click activate coin. And once it's activated, it does show it here and you can see that I've actually done this before with another wallet, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start fresh. So we're gonna say create new wallet. And so when you create a new wallet, you're gonna have a seed generated and you can also create a custom seed, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, the seed that the system generated for me. What you wanna do with this immediately when it generates it, is write it down on a piece of paper um, as carefully as you can. So make sure it's clear to you and you write it down and read it back that the order of the words and everything is exactly as it appears in this, in this first section here. And then for confirm wallet seed, you're gonna wanna actually type in each word using the piece of paper that you wrote down as your reference. And the reason for that is this seed is really the key to your wallet, to accessing your wallet. If you lose it, you lose your wallet and you lose everything in it. So you really need to put it in a, care, in, a, in a very safe place. You need to make sure you're really careful with this seed that it doesn't get in the wrong hands. And, um, and especially, you know, make sure you write it down correctly. And that's why you want to type it in from what you wrote down to make sure that you have it written down in a way that's going to, that's going to be accurate. Okay. So once you have it typed in, then the next step is to click this little button that says encrypt seed. And this is gonna allow you to set up a password um, to use to log in each time. So you don't have to type in the full seed every time. And it's going to save that seed in an encrypted file on your computer. So what I'm gonna do here is just type in a password that I'm gonna be able to remember and uh, that I'm gonna know is associated with this particular wallet. Once I've typed in my password and typed it in to confirm it, then I'm going to click this next little button that says custom pin file name. And that way I can give it a custom name for the file that shows up. So I'm going to say, this is test two, because I already have one, um, oot wallet. And once I've done that, I'm going to just click register. So now that it's registered, it's going to show the one I just created. Like I said, I did create one earlier and that's here. So I could also log into that one. And if you create more, wallets for different currencies. If you want to separate them in their own wallets, you can, uh, you can create as many of these as you want. And then from the dropdown, select the one you're logging into and type your password. So this is the one we just created. I'm going to type the password I just set up 
and I'm logged in. So this is my brand new Oot wallet. Uh, there's no transactions. It was just generated. And this is my public wallet address. So this is the wallet address that I will receive Oot tokens at. If someone was sending to me, I'd share this address with them. And you can get it up here at the top. You can also click receive. And uh, from this little menu here, this little uh, three dots menu, you can click that and I can generate a QR code here. And that's something I can save and I can put on a website or share with someone, or if they're just with me in person, they could scan it with their phone and be able to send to my address because that QR matches up with this wallet address here. So the next thing um, I wanna do is we're gonna do a test transaction just so you can see the process and you can see the Explorer. Um, there's an Oot Explorer that tracks transactions. And as you can see, I can't send any Oot because I have zero. Um, so we're going to activate that by sending some Oot into this wallet and seeing that process. So what I've done is I've uh, logged into another wallet that I have through Barterdex. And there's another video on our YouTube channel where you can see how to set up one of those wallets as well and how to configure Barterdex. I have some, as you can see, I have a little balance of Oot here. What I'm going to do is send five of these Oot over to my, my new Agama Oot wallet. So the first thing I'm going to do is click send from this wallet here where I'm sending from and it wants to know the address I'm sending to and how much. So I'm going to grab that from a gamma. Again, this is my public address. So I'm going to select and copy that and paste it over here in the to address. And then every time I do a transaction like this, I always make sure the first few characters and the last few characters match up in both screens to make sure I either typed it correctly or when I pasted it, I had the whole thing copied and didn't miss any characters. Um, you don't want to send your, your cryptocurrency to the wrong address. That's not a fun experience. So go ahead and put a five here. We're going to send five oot and sending to that address, which is my new Agama wallet and click send transaction. So pretty quick, it should give me some feedback here and a transaction ID, which I can select and copy. And then we'll, we'll see that out on the, um, the Oot Explorer. So ootexplorer.com is where you can track transactions and also kind of see the latest transactions out on the network. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, this transaction in here and just paste it into the search box. And I can also, at the top, I can also do, at the end of this trailing forward slash, I can type TX forward slash, and you can see I've done this before. Um, and then paste that transaction up there as well. Um, and it will also show me the status of that transaction. In this case, I'm just going to click search. Okay. So, um, already within a few seconds, it's shown up here. Um, there's zero confirmation so far, but if I jump back over to my Agama wallet, I should see the balance and there it is. So now I have five, just a little bit over five oot in my new Agama wallet. And, um, so that you can see the transactions are pretty quick, um, very easy to perform, and uh, my balance is updated here. And then of course, if I'm curious about what, where that transaction is or something hasn't shown up, I can always check on Oot Explorer. So the next thing I wanna do is we're gonna send that transaction back, but we're gonna wait for a confirmation to come in to do that. Okay, so now that we have a few confirmations showing up here, um, I'm gonna be able to go ahead and send this transaction back. So um, what we'll do is first grab the Oot wallet address from Barter Dex that we're going to be sending these back to. So I'm ju jumping over to Barter Dex. I'm just going to click receive. And here is my Oot wallet address on Barter Dex. So I'll just click that and copy it and then jump back over to Agama and I'm going to click send up here. And for send, it's very similar to what we saw over on Barter Dex where we have a send to address field where I'm going to paste that um, wallet address. And again, I just make sure the first few and the last few characters match up just like we did before when we were coming from barter decks. And then, um, for this one, I'll just go ahead and send two oot back over and click send. And it's going to come up, show me what the fee is going to be, which is obviously extremely low. And, um, and then I'm just going to click confirm and it doesn't take long. It just jumps back, says if it's successful or not. In this case, it was, it sent from this wallet to my other wallet and that's that. So if I jump over to transactions, I'm going to see once I refresh this, um, I may have to refresh it a couple times. Um, but once that hits the network, there it is, then I'm going to see it. And so the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is how to log out of a gamma wallet. Um, there's obviously a couple ways, so we could just X out. I can also click the menu and do a complete logout. 
Um, I can also do soft logout. So the preferred way is to use soft logout, which just locks the wallet and, um, and then just leave a comma running. So if I click that, you'll notice it just pops back to the screen where I select the pen name and put in the password. Um, and then I just leave a gamma wallet uh, running and just makes it a little simpler. So if I want to jump back in, I can just click the wallet that I was in, type my password, and I'm right back in and, and I can see my balance. Now, if you do X out completely, I'll just demonstrate what, what, um, what that will do here. So I've totally exited out of Agama. I'm going to relaunch it. And once Agama loads back up, if I use the X out, um, not the soft log out, it's going to come back to please add a coin to start. And um, so I do want to click activate again, type in OOT to get the OOT uh, coin listed again, and just click activate coin. This doesn't really hurt anything with your wallet. You still have access. My password file is still there. I can type the password in and log in and I'm going to see my balance again. And there's my wallet with all my transactions. So no big deal. Um, a lot of people panic when they see that screen come up, they think they've lost access, but they haven't. And, um, and that's it. So, uh, if you have any questions about using the wallet or doing transactions or anything about, uh, how to work with a gamma or oot and your oot wallet, feel free to reach out to us over on our help desk. It's helpdesk.utrim.io. And if you want to reach out to us there or contact us through Telegram or Slack, we'll be happy to help uh, in any way we can. Thanks for watching.